Hi, I wanted to tell you about the Autoject. I think it is the greatest thing ever invented for diabetic dogs. It's actually made for humans, but I think they do make a pet one. And it, it looks to me like it's the same thing with a paw print on it. I'm not sure though. You'll have to have a look and ask the company. But this is the one that we have. We have the Autoject 2. Prior to getting this device, I really thought that my dog and I were not going to survive his diabetes diagnosis. Um, I love him so much. We've been together 14 years and he is the love of my life, but the injections were killing us both, literally. Um, I was so stressed out and sobbing every day. He was crying and screaming. It took two people to hold him down. It was a nightmare. This saved our lives, and so I really want to share this product with you. Um, so, first of all, I want to say I'm not a vet, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nurse. I am just a regular person. My dog got diabetes, and here we are. So, you get the auto eject in this box, and you open it up, and it's got this nice case, a zipper case, and these are the pieces. So you get two pieces that are like this, and they are to help you with the size, the length of the needle. Um, in the directions, you will find a chart that shows the different lengths for different needles. So have a look at that and see what suits you. There are two pieces like that. I never move mine, so I didn't even want to pull it out but I put mine in there and then the other one you just don't need if it doesn't fit your needle. So we'll put that to the side. So mine is in there for my particular needle, which looks like this. So the other piece you have is this part and then you have this. This is basically just a caulking mechanism. So you're gonna insert this part into here and this is a spring so there's a spring in here so what you're gonna do is push it down until it locks and then you're gonna take this yellow piece out and you're finished with that piece so what happens just the basic concept of this device is that you're gonna take your needle whatever dose it is, I'm just showing you. And your needle will go inside this part. So you see there's a little chamber in there. And you just put your needle in. Okay, and you turn it. And screw on the other part. And have a look here and you'll see there's a window. And this window is really important because it's going to show you when the syringe is completely empty. So in the beginning, what I found worked best was to test this on a toilet paper roll or a stuffed animal or something, bearing in mind that the chamber is going to empty very slowly into your dog's skin. It's not going to be quick like it is in a toilet roll. The second thing to think about is that it's going to make a loud noise. The auto eject does. When it springs, it makes a noise, and I'll let you hear that in a minute. So be mindful when you're practicing with water and an old syringe that you're only doing it in the toilet roll and you know, on a stuffed animal, whatever it is, that you don't forget and accidentally <laughs> inject yourself or, or have something, you know, just bear in mind, you know, don't just start watching TV and forget what you're doing. So you press this into a stuffed animal or something, and I'll show you why we do that, because this part has to be pressed down. Do you see it in the middle here? So if this isn't pressed on your dog's skin, you won't be able to press this. This is the button that makes it go. So if you can't press the middle, it won't work. So once this is pressed, once this end here is pressed against your dog's skin, 
then you're, you're able to press the button. So say you press it down, press, let's see, so then you're going to press this button. See that? And now it's yellow. And you'll see this window move down a lot slower. So don't let the sound startle you or your dog. Um, I think the first time it startled me and then I pulled the needle out and then I could just see the rest of the insulin spraying across the floor. So it takes time and just look at the window and let it all go down and don't get scared by the noise. Um, so the best thing to do is to practice with the dog with treats. So what I like to do or what I did in the beginning was I did it without a needle even though in the you know the directions in the box say and this is how you should always cap your needle cap it against the the table don't use your fingers or you might uh you might accidentally stab yourself through the cap all right so what i did for the dog was i would put this together without the needle and then tent the skin. You always have to tent just the same as you would have to tent for a regular injection. So you're not going to get away from the tenting. Um, I think in maybe the worst, like most difficult situations that dogs that resist tenting and are aggressive or are very difficult to tent, you could probably twist this um, top bit to make the needle as short as possible and do an injection in the rump. But I would say ask your vet if you can do that, how you can do that, and for them to show you specifically. But otherwise, if you're able to tent, then tent where you normally would. Um, press it against the dog's skin in, in the middle of the tented area. So you've got a wider range here. And then go ahead and release. And get your dog used to the noise. Um, so we do lots of these fake injections with treats, fake injections while we're watching TV. Um, be holding him while we're watching TV and just rubbing him with the auto eject and having it in my hand all the time. And we did this for probably two days before I ever used it to give him a real injection. So. You don't want to get started on a bad note. So just take your time. I know it's exciting when you've gotten the, the product and you want to use it, but take your time and, and really play with it, get used to it, get comfortable with injecting a stuffed animal for practice. Um, and just, yeah, take your time because you don't want to have spent all this money and, and be excited and then your dog is terrified of the auto eject and you never get to use it. So that's the auto eject and I will do another video showing you Harry getting his injection in the morning. So hope that works for you.